Hello, this is Lynn Carley with Carly's Honey. Uh, today is May the 31st. We're going to go up on the mountain and get three swarm traps that we had left uh, up there over winter. We got so busy with the bees, we didn't have time to go get them. So today we're, we're going to go replace them, but we found their bees in all three hives. So we hope you enjoy the video. Here we go. And I have found that I've got this one a little too high in the tree. Uh, you don't have to have them high enough to where you got to use a ladder. Uh, people were saying that um, they need to be at least 10 feet off the ground. Well, I have one that I'll show you that the entrance was no more than two feet off the ground and we still got bees. I'm putting a piece of screen over the entrance of the swarm trap so the bees can't get out in transit. And uh, then I'm going to just remove this out of the tree and uh, get them all together and then we're going to bring them back to the shop. Uh, we also got drowned in this video. so This is uh, uh, swarm number two that we got for the day. Um, it's not as high in the tree as the first one. But I still had to use the ladder to get it down. And all I'm using is eighth inch carpenter's cloth to staple over the entrance. As you can see, we have a, uh, a strap around the whole box and the uh, bracket that we have it mounted to. And we also have another strap that's just around the swarm trap with the lid to keep it attached so that when we do get ready to move these, we don't accidentally pop the top. Here I am. Uh, Replacing the trap two of the traps that I had up there. I had two more boxes that I just took up here that I'm replacing them with uh, So we can catch uh, hopefully more swarms um, Right now this is uh, The end of May and we still have the whole month of June that we can get swarms in and so we just went ahead and put another box up Now the uh, new swarm trap that we put up, I am taking lemongrass oil and a Q-tip. I'm going to put some lemongrass oil on the tip of the Q-tip and wipe it around the entrance of the uh, swarm trap and then I'm going to put a little more on the other end and I'm just going to leave the whole Q-tip in the swarm trap. Uh, lemongrass oil makes for a great lure. The third swarm uh, that we retrieved today. Uh, this is one that a tree fell and knocked my bracket and my box off and I had to cut my way into this to get it out and the day I was cutting my way in is the day we found the bees in the hive. I'm uh, stapling a piece of 1 8 inch carpenter's cloth over the entrance so the bees can't get out but this entrance is no more than two foot off the ground and a swarm of bees has moved into it. So they really don't have to be all that high up in a tree. Uh, I would just keep them about head high where it's manageable to get the trap on and off of the hive, off the tree. Okay, today's June the 1st. Yesterday when we got the swarms, it was raining so hard we couldn't come and put them in the boxes. So today we're going to put them in the boxes. Okay, so here... Uh, my mentor Keith Ray and I are getting ready to put those uh, swarms that we got off the mountain. We're putting them in our boxes now. Uh, Keith was real kind to come and help me today get these in. And this is uh, swarm number two that we are installing into the box.
Okay, and here we are. We are putting the uh, third swarm into the box, into our 10 frame box at this time. We're taking our time on these frames. We're trying to find the queens as we were looking and taking them out and putting them in the box. Uh, we did find two of the three uh, queens in the boxes. Um, one, the one we didn't find the queen in, we did find the eggs that she had been laying in there, but we just didn't see her. And we didn't know if uh, she might have got killed with some of the comb that fell in the bottom of the box. Um, we will go through here in a few days and we'll check these out again and uh, see if we find the queen in that box that we didn't find the queen in. But uh, our goal here now is uh, once we got them in this box, uh, start feeding them some sugar water and everything and get them to pull the rest of the frames out and we're going to try to get these strong uh, before winter gets here and go into winter with three strong swarms that we caught this year. We think the queen is in this hive because all the bees started marching right out of the box, uh, the swarm trap, and going into the 10 frame hive that we had set up for them. Uh, if there is a queen there, once you get her in there and they start smelling her pheromones, they will just start walking right on in. Little uh, neat box right here that I have. This is a swarm that I got off a fence post, uh, not far. Uh, it's about three miles from my house, and uh, a neighbor told or told me about the swarm being there. And I got them in the box, and I found several queens in this swarm, and so I kept them locked up for about 48 hours. And now I'm going through it to see, make sure I only have one queen. Uh, if there's more than one queen and you leave them open immediately, uh, more than likely they're going to swarm again and leave. So I left them closed up for 48 hours and now uh, we went through the box and there was one queen. <laughs> Here she is. Right here's the queen. She's on this side now. Can you see her? Right here. And this other frame here. We run all our hives with nine frames and a dummy board. Uh, this is the first frame we always take out. That way we don't roll no queens or, or kill any queens this way. That brood pattern. This queen is laying really, really good. This is one of the swarms that we brought back. Uh, almost two weeks ago. She's got a real good brood pattern. She's got this one almost laid full on both sides. What's not capped has got eggs in it, larva. Here she is, but there's the queen. She 
is pretty, golden color. She's doing a real good job. this back up. We found the queen. She's got lots of eggs. She's doing a real good job. Uh, they've just got some more comb they have to pull out. So we're going to continue feeding these hives and uh, putting a feeder on them. Then we have one more. This is the one we got off the fence post. Just had a virgin queen, and uh, hopefully we'll see if she has been mated, started laying yet. All these bees right here come off that fence post. Well, they're pulling comb. Doing a good job here, pulling the comb out. She's laying. Can you see all that white in the sails? Yeah. Okay. She's laying. She's gone on her virgin flight. She is back. Right here she is. She's right here. Beautiful golden color too. This side's full of eggs too. Okay, so they're putting up some nectar. Putting up nectar. Got some pollen going in here. Uh, the queen is laying. She uh, she was a virgin. This hive had um, about eight queens when I caught it. And I left them trapped in this box for 48 hours, let them fight it out, because at that time I had no other empty boxes to put queens in or anything. So I let them fight it out, and after 48 hours there was one queen left, and now she's gone on a virgin flight, she's laying, and this hive is off to a good start. So I'm going to, uh, also I'm gonna start feeding this one sugar water. Uh, to help pull out the comb and the rest of the box and hopefully here in a few weeks I can have it in a 10 frame box This is a uh, new uh, natural cedar stain that we're trying uh, This is a waterproofer uh, UV protectant and uh, You just brush it on roll it on or spray it on. It's just two light coats is all you put on there and then you let it dry for a couple of days and uh, it brings out the wood grain on the hive really well. Uh, I like that a lot. Our other hives here have got a uh, echo wood on them, uh, which turns the hives brown uh, the longer they sit out in the sun. But uh, we th I saw this, uh, a lady that I went to a master beekeeping class with, she tried this, I saw her hives, so I thought I would try this. I, I really love the way it brings the wood grain out, so uh, from time to time, we'll update you and let you know we've got some four nukes done this way. And as soon as we get our uh, deeps in, we're gonna start doing some deeps and we'll just show you from time to time and let you know how it's going. This is a, uh, this was a nuke I started myself. The first uh, queen did not take. They didn't, the first queen they made did not take. So I had to put a new frame of brood in here uh, the new queen, she is laying. She's got brood in here now. Uh, I've been feeding this hive. Uh, 
they are coming along. These other, these three hives here, eight, 17, and 15, they're all nukes that I started that uh, are in uh, 10 frame boxes now, doing real well. Here she is. I think this queen is a Cordovan queen, mite resistant queen. Um, I got some of those from California last year. I only had three hives make it and my strongest hive was a Cordovan mite resistant hive. And uh, she makes these pretty golden bees. And that's one thing that we're gonna to try to do here at uh, Curly's Honey Great Valley Apiary is we are in the process of trying to start raising our own mite resistant queens. And from time to time, we will have some of those for sale. Once we get all of our hives uh, requeened and going with the mite resistant, uh, mites are a real bad problem. I lost uh, 25 of 28 hives last year due to mites and trach mites that they said were back now. And uh, so I'm gonna do everything I can, the way I treat and uh, the queens I use are definitely gonna be mite resistant. Okay, this, this was a nuke that I started and uh, you can tell I just put this in this box last week. This is a five frame nuke that I just put in this box last week. And you can see she is absolutely doing great. watching our video today if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the uh, comment section below please click on the subscribe button uh, please click also on the bell if you'd like to receive a notification of when we have another video coming out and please give us a thumbs up thank you God bless and have a good day Hang on a minute. Okay. I ask that you would like uh, Oh boy. Okay. We would ask that you click on the subscribe button below. Huh. Like three swarms of bees that we left up. Uh, never mind, let's start this. <laughs> you want me to just keep going and let you piece this together? Okay. Okay. Please click, click. <laughs> okay. Please click on the subscribe button below. Uh, Do you want to start over? Yeah. yeah.